So in this video tutorial I will show you a few tricks that takes to complete this background netting. So I am at the area where we have completed leaflets of flower. Um, it looks like flower. Um, we can crochet uh, basically if you memorize to memorize this background netting is very easy because it's repetitive. Um, it repeats itself after five uh, rows. So let's look at the same area. We have leaflets and then we have an arch. The arch was uh, uh, drooping picots and top pico, and then we will have arch of two leaves. And again we will repeat our pattern. So after we finished the row with uh, leaves, next row will be crochet three stitches and then to add drooping pico. For drooping pico I made here five stitches, chain five, then connect with a slip stitch, making sure that your chain, five chain, is held at the bottom of the chain and then another pico also chain 5 the top pico is easier to make then we make one more slip stitch right between both picos make chain 6 to 3 four, five, and six. So the first set of drooping pico and a top pico is done and we're making this one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your stitch, insert hook into the first stitch of chain five and connect by holding the chain down with your fingers after we connect with slip stitch, make another pico. I call it top pico in the pattern. And we connect this pico or close pico with a slip stitch. Make sure that all your slip stitches are tight. This will be the key to your neat looking work. Then insert hook between both picots, make slip stitch, again make sure this pico, uh, the stitch is tight and make three more stitches, chain three. So this part is complete, this will be right here, this is what we made. And now we will connect, connect this arch to the stitch into the stitch between the leaf and the bar with drooping pico and pico. So we make here single crochet stitch. Make sure to pick up two, two loops of stitches so that your chain will not be stretched. You don't want stretched stitches. So we made a uh, single crochet and now we crochet, if you look at the pattern, we have those bars and above the bars we have leaflets. First we will make the arch that consists of two leaves. To make this arch we make chain 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we crochet leaf. For leaf we make single crochet, half double crochet, then we make two double crochet stitches, one, two, again coming back making uh, leaf <coughs> narrower, we will make half double and finish with single crochet. 
Now we have to crochet on another side of this chain. So for this reason our thread goes under the work and we basically rotate our work. And in this chain 8, insert the hook into your first stitch and make slip stitch here. This is your transition stitch and after that we can crochet on another side of the chain. So the bottom, the one side of the leaf is done, it's on the bottom and now we can crochet a leaf as before. Single crochet, pattern repeats, have double, two double crochet stitches, again one more double, and then we make half double crochet and at the end we make single and one more stitch, it is slip stitch right into the quite tight area in the tip of the leaf to make that leaf look pointy. After that we make chain one and again chain eight for next leaf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And again we crochet our leaf again single, have double, two double crochet stitches, one, two, half double, single crochet and again we're moving on another side of the chain. It's kind of tricky. Just pay attention what I do. I just turn in my work, my thread under the chain, insert hook into your first stitch of chain 8, not in that transition chain 1 that we made between leaves, but in chain, first stitch of chain 8. Slip stitch. Now we crochet on another side of the chain. Again we'll repeat single crochet, have double, two double crochet stitches, one and two. Again half double crochet, then single crochet and into the tip of the leaf we crochet it's quite a challenge can be to insert the hook there in a the tip and make slip stitch and by doing all those turning around we have our arch that consists of two leaves here it is And now we will connect this arch between the bar with double with drooping with two picos and between the leaf right in here. So we crochet right in that stitch next to the leaf, the point of the leaf. We crochet single crochet stitch, and after that we will repeat our pattern again the same way as here. We will make chain 3, 2 picots, chain 6, again 2 picots, 3, chain 3. We will connect here and then again we'll make, as on the bottom, we'll make again the same pattern. One, two, three. After that, 
pico one two three four five this is our drooping pico where we rem when we remove our hook from the chain and holding the chain down didn't work okay let's try again holding the chain down make slip stitch then again one two three four five close the pico with slip stitch make sure all your stitches tight especially slip stitches then one more slip stitch will make right into the center between both and this place is quite narrow and very little and very difficult to see stitches here now try to insert hook right between those two picots and make slip stitch after that again one two three four five six again making drooping pico first one two three four five remove hook and insert into the first stitch of five of chain five Clo close do it <clears throat> one two three four five six then one two three four and five hook into the stitch first stitch of chain five pick up our dropped stitch and move it. it does not want to do what I want it's okay we'll pick it up this time and move through again chain five and close and with a slip stitch our pico make sure stitch is tight <clears throat> one more slip stitch right into the center between both stitches one two and three and connect between the leaf and the bar with picots pick up both loops of the chain here and after that we're making again the arch with six seven eight eight we're making the arch with two leaves and we're doing exactly the same work half double Then double crochets, two of them, one, then another one, two, half double crochet, single, and this time again. moving on another side of the chain with a slip stitch and crochet again the leaf single crochet have double crochet two double crochet stitches Second, then half double again and single crochet stitch leaf almost finished and we make to complete this leaf we're making slip stitch again 
making chain one. This chain one is tra transition chain between leaves. We need that to connect our second set of leaves. So we made chain one and then counting again eight stitches of chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again crochet leaf. Single crochet and half double. Two double crochet stitches. One, two, then again half double, single crochet. So stitch into the first stitch of the chain 8, slip stitch here and continue crocheting on the other side of the leaf. Single crochet, half double, two double crochet stitches, one, two, then half double crochet, single crochet stitch and slip stitch into the tip of the leaf to complete this leaf. And to finish the row we have to come uh, make a single crochet stitch between this chain 12 and the bar with stitches. So you have to basically look for, it will be three stitches here and you have to insert the hook into the fourth stitch. Fourth stitch from this side if you count or twelfth stitch, the last stitch of chain 12. And we'll make single crochet stitch. So this will make us our uh, row finished and the next video tutorial I will show you how I crochet in opposite direction but at the same time have all leaves facing you it was the right side this is quite a tricky place um, and I will show you how to do this in the next video tutorial